Good morning. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, I'm here this morning with uh, the mayor of South San Francisco, uh, Mayor uh, Pedro Gonzalez. I'm here with Supervisor Scott Weiner, with our treasurer, Jose Cisneros, our city administrator, Naomi Kelly, representatives of uh, Mayor Kwan in Oakland, uh, from our SFMTA, John Haley, uh, members of our workforce and economic development teams, uh, and our assessor recorder, uh, Carmen Chu, along with our uh, Department of Human Resources, Mickey Callahan. I'm also to my immediate left uh, here is California State uh, Secretary of Labor, uh, Marty Morgenstern. This morning, uh, we have come together uh, to talk about the need to reach an agreement on our, on our BART system. The whole week, and certainly weeks uh, in the past, I have uh, engaged people working in our hotels, in our coffee shops, in our restaurants, small businesses alike. I couldn't even get a burrito without confronting somebody who asked that we take our stand on behalf of the public, that we need an agreement and not a strike in our BART system, uh, and that the public ridership, the 400,000 people who use BART, need a voice at this table. Uh, we need to make sure that both management and labor have as their objective when they are meeting to negotiate out an agreement that they need to know it is no longer a matter of inconvenience to the ridership. It is hardship. It is hardship for people trying to get to work. In many cases, people trying to get to two places of work. It is hardship for parents who need to get from work to their child care centers to make sure that they make it on time. It is hardship for people in working class families who are screaming by, screeching by to make sure ends meet and yet are subject to have to pay high prices for parking a car that they would not have had to use if the system was working for them. And so on behalf of the ridership, working families, parents and others, we together today standing solidly to give them a voice. This weekend, BART management and BART labor negotiators have to negotiate to an agreement, not to a standstill. We've already seen the negative impacts that a strike has, and it is hardship. It is hardship for everybody. I feel it. That's why I'm here today with all the Bay Area as representatives that could make it here today they need a voice at this table and need to remind people very strongly that it is not about inconvenience any longer. It is about their hardship and we need to focus on their uh, dependency of a very uh, serious investment that we've all made for years and years and that is investment in our BART system. And so that is one point that we need to make and I want to put a face on the ridership for all of us that we care about the working families, the people that are every day struggling with their lives to make sure that they know we are representing them to insist as strong as we can. Negotiation should not be about presenting to the public the differences that they have so much as using that time to reach an agreement by this weekend. This is the opportunity we have. We cannot waste that time we have to get an agreement by everybody. That is the objective that we want to represent. Uh, it is incredible that we have to spend so much of our time these days planning for the, uh, the impacts of what a strike will do. All of us are working overtime to, present the heart, to prevent the hardships that are going to happen uh, that they had happened for the four and a half days last month to the tune of over $70 million of cost to, the, to all the Bay Area. Uh, all of us 
have also been in communications uh, with uh, the Secretary's office and with the Governor's office so that we want to continue uh, to make sure that every opportunity of communications is open but also that everybody do their job, which is get an agreement. Uh, and I want to then uh, turn this over uh, to present uh, the uh, Secretary of Labor for the State of California, uh, Marty Morgenstern. Marty. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I'll be very brief. Uh, Governor Brown shares the concern of Mayor Lee and the other public officials that we do not need yet another BART strike that this is a great hardship for the people of the Bay Area and the economy of the Bay Area, for everybody who works here, lives here, goes to school here, travels here, um, and that the negotiators on both sides should be making every possible effort. They, that they, we don't expect them uh, to leave the bargaining table without an agreement. Uh, I asked and they agreed to a 30-day extension of the uh, contract. They've had another 28 days so far. Uh, we expect that the next couple of days that they will succeed. Uh, uh, failure to uh, reach an agreement will be a serious failure and one that leadership should not, should not abide. Uh, the uh, governor's has set this as a top priority. We've had uh, two of our best uh, mediators in there for the entire time. We've had the head of the Public Employment Relations Board, our highest public official uh, in this area, work, uh, working daily on this situation. Uh, we've done everything possible. I've stayed in touch with them. The governor is, uh, has, <coughs> has, has been apprised of the situation. We have done everything possible to help these parties reach an agreement. Now it is up to them to see to it that they find a way to reach a contract that's fair to the workers, fair to management, and fair to the people of, of the Bay Area and the state of California uh, by not closing down this vital transportation uh, needs of, of the area. Thank you. We'll take, we'll take uh, whatever questions people have. The governor will consider all his options. Um, I understand that BART is looking at possibly trying to get managers to be sort of re um, approved to drive trains. Is that something that concerns you so that you guys would support? Well, I didn't hear the question. Was that a question for me? You'll have to address that to bot management. Mayor, can you talk about the impact on city operations? I, I was just hearing yesterday that 45% of the 26,000 city employees use some form of public transportation, whether it's BART, Muni, BTA. What would be the impact on city operations? That, that, that is uh, correct, and uh, John Haley's here from our uh, MTA to talk about the details of how we're preparing for it. But uh, I'll tell you, it, it, it is a use of time that we shouldn't have to do uh, but we have to do it, uh, and this is part of the burden that all of our cities, whether it's Oakland or San Francisco, are facing, is that we've got to help our ridership get around the city for very necessary uh, transportation needs that they have. And so, John, uh, if, you, uh, if you're here, uh, you can talk a little bit about the preparations that we're doing to get people around here. I know uh, Scott Weiner is also engaged with public, uh, his ridership and the small businesses in, in his district as well. Thank you, Mayor. As the Mayor said, we're uh, prepared to do everything that we can. In particular, um, our plan includes beefing up transit service in key corridors, um, you know, particularly out of uh, the Balboa Park area, which means extra trains on the J line, extra service along the Mission Corridor, which we saw last time uh, was heavy. We're also, in some of the things that we've learned from our first experience, we will, in the afternoons, for example, um, uh, increase the hours that we have uh, parking control officers to help with traffic flow um, up to and from the bridge and along the key downtown streets. Um, we will also expand the uh, casual carpooling areas down there to help uh, people get around. But um, and, and our workforce uh, did an extraordinary job 
in coming to work lost time to allow us to provide the extra service to help to ease some of the hardship that we're talking about. But we're prepared to do everything we can. We'll have our management team out as ambassadors to provide information. So we're committed to helping to ease the pain as best we can, but clearly uh, expect crowding and there will, be, there will be pain and no one will have, uh, going anywhere in the region who will have a normal kind of a, a day. We can be assured of that, but we're prepared to do everything we can. or something else they get in how many hours early or, or whatnot, how soon, how long wait they might expect at some of these key quarters? Well, we will, um, we are going to uh, be ready as early as possible. Obviously, we're very uh, aware of what's going on. We'll set up, uh, we have all of our uh, plans in place. Uh, we learned, again, from what we did last time. So uh, we expect that people, in the event of a worst case scenario, we expect people will start coming in very early and we'll be ready for that. Does this uh, lead the governor to be more inclined to pass a law not allowing transit workers to be able to provide kind of like what they have here in San Francisco with you? Governor Brown is concerned uh, with avoiding a strike in this situation, when, and he's concerned with labor and management finding a solution to the problem. That's, that's where we are at this point. Mayor Lee, would you support something statewide? You know, I. I'm focused on this weekend. You know, I, I've said it over and over again. There's an opportunity here to reach an agreement. Negotiations should not be prolonged. They should definitely come to a conclusion with an agreement that both sides can live with. That's the goal. Uh, you know, we do have a system here in San Francisco where uh, there's no strike clauses, and it's, it's been helpful. Labor peace has always uh, been beneficial, particularly with transit systems. But at the same time, we have an opportunity this weekend to voluntarily do that uh, with incredible investments that the public has made. And that's why I think we need a voice for the ridership to really weigh in on the people at the table. We need an agreement to reflect all this effort, uh, not ended up in, in uh, the kind of uh, economic hurt that all the families are trying to avoid, but they're speaking about it out of a tremendous concerns for the today quality of life here. Do you feel like we're closer to an agreement now than when you started this 30-day cooling off period, or do you think we're further apart? Well, they haven't reached an agreement yet, and that's my concern. Uh, there's been 30 days, there's been mediation, there's been uh, uh, involvement of uh, officials all over the, all over the state and, and, and the area, and yet we haven't, and there have been months of negotiations beside this month, and they haven't reached an agreement yet, and that's our concern. Closer isn't good enough. They've got to reach a deal. Could you give them another 30 days? Excuse me? Another 30 days or more time? Well, we don't want this to drag on. We want this settled already. I mean, this is, as, as the mayor has already explained, it's, uh, there's a expensive, there's great expense to getting ready for these potential strikes. We don't think the whole pe people of the Bay Area should be kept on pins and needles forever. It's time for this to end. Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, everybody.